Welcome. Please insert keycard. Processing. Access to Site81's database has been granted. Secure. Contain. Protect. Threat Entity Database Entry Threat ID, LTE 2712 Bosch Titanic Terrave or Authorized Response Level, 5, Immediate Threat, N, A, Confirm Destroyed, File Archived, Description, A Series of Teeth, 40 Confirmed Instances, which appeared spontaneously in and above the Arctic Ocean on 04-08-2. Instances resemble those of an adult member of the species Canis lupus. These teeth were massive in proportion, with cuspids estimated to be approximately 3 km from base to tip. Extensive mapping, via satellite imagery, bathymetric survey, of the area inhabited by LTE 2712 Bosch revealed that the teeth were oriented in an anatomically correct fashion. The incisors of the maxillary, upper, dental arcade were located in the upper troposphere, 10 mastel, and the mandibular dental arcade incisors rested at an oceanic depth of approximately 2.3 kilometers. Both sets of incisors were located near 80 degrees and 147 degrees W and your molars had been discovered over 300 kilometers away at 82 degrees and 160 degrees W. Each instance terminated at its base, with no visible gingiva in our dimension, though it was later verified during the liquidation process that the entity in its entirety was indeed a colossal specimen at least superficially similar to a member of the species Canis lupus. The entity was estimated to be around 7,200 kilometers in length with a height at the shoulders of 3,200 kilometers. Of note is the fact that the entity had a thin chain around its neck, which had apparently been severed. The destroyed portion was coated in a blue, lustrous substance. Agents described the area it inhabited as a seemingly endless ocean, shrouded in mist, with no visible landmarks or horizon. Liquidation Timeline of notable events 04 12 203 32 Exit Blue Assets perform a working to gain access to the entity's primary dimension. The process is completed within the hour. 04 12 204 39 SCPS Quarantine enters the aperture, with Mu 90 and AT 743 on board. Orders are to observe and report only. Communications are lost instantaneously upon their crossing. 04 12 205 17 SCPS Quarantine returns to report on the entity and the dimension it resides in. 04 12 207 20 UAC units and 805 are deployed aboard GOKA Legacy. 04 12 215 35 LTE 2712 rapidly withdraws its lower fangs, leaving no remaining evidence of its existence. This event affected the exit created aperture, however, which became unstable. 04 12 215 48 LTE 2712 slowly withdraws its upper fangs, also leaving no trace. It was at this point that the liquidation was considered a success, though the aperture fully collapsed, trapping those aboard the legacy. 04 12 220 58 Exit Blue Assets are still unable to reopen the aperture. Task Force is considered lost. 04 12 223 02 Assistant Director Papa Romeo receives a call from Zosheral, thought to have been Kia aboard the legacy. Requested immediate evac for surviving personnel, now located outside an abandoned apartment complex in North Carolina. Note, of over 4,000 staff aboard Legacy, only 112 survived. Survivors were escorted to U.S. Outpost for medical treatment and debriefing. Testimony from the survivors of Joint Task Force 2861 Omega, Ragna Block revealed that the threat proved immune to all forms of both conventional and tangential weaponry after a prolonged period of assault. Acting on orders from high command, UAC operators attempted an incursion into the entity, with the objective of planting their respective compressed thermonuclear devices within it. Unfortunately, a suit malfunction hindered their progression, and UAC 656 was lost. The suit landed in the lower jaw of the entity, 
weighing it down and retracting the teeth from the baseline dimension. Following advice from Michael Hauer, Legacy pilots brought the ship within its maw, and the crew affixed a gig anti gravity turbine to the roof of its mouth. Liquidation was subsequently achieved after remote activation of the turbine. Cause of death was exsanguination following violent severance of the lower mandible. The entity struck the legacy in its death throes, compromising the ship and killing most on board. Survivors escaped through a transdimensional rift generated by a device belonging to the 805 member. With the liquidation a success, High Command began an investigation into the situation. It was determined that enough evidence existed to suggest that an unknown threat entity had attempted to initiate an eschatological scenario. The identity and motives of this entity are unclear. Research is hindered, however, by the fact the Foundation forces have sole access to the dimension previously occupied by LTE 2712. Psyche records the following missive was delivered to GIG Director DC Alfine prior to the emergence of LTE 2712. No action was taken initially, due to previous unsubstantiated claims from this individual. Letter excerpt, 04-07-2 Sender, Cynthia Fume, Speaker, Fellowship of the Faith of the Azer, Recipient, DC Alfine. I have practiced Cethra all throughout my tenure. Yet this was an experience far removed from my previous divinatory sessions. Though I had never before gazed upon the true visage of a member of the Azer, I still knew her face. It was Our Lady Frigga, the Beloved, the Weaver of Fate. She spoke to me of the end times, and a violation to the order of things. Her testimony in its entirety escapes me, as details were lost in the fugue between states of consciousness, this is what remains in my mind. Glepner has given way, the great chain now gone and fierce Fenrir is freed, unfettered for his feast. Prepare. For he shall pierce your plane, as a precursor to pandemonium accept my advice, as annihilation is avoidable yet. There was more, of that I am certain. I have no doubt that this was a genuine warning, as the future is known to Frigga, yet she cannot directly affect its outcome. It is in our hands now. The coalition must make preparations to neutralize this threat, whatever the cost. Between 02 colon 10 03 colon 30 on 04 slash 11 slash 2 comma tsunami struck along the northern borders of Russia, Alaska, and the Canadian Arctic archipelago Nunavut. By the end of the day, the death toll had been estimated to have peaked at roughly 3,000 civilian casualties. Video evidence recorded by civilians in several countries from the Northern Hemisphere were uploaded onto several video sharing websites within the first several hours of the disaster, claiming to depict UFOs in the sky. Media blackout and censorship protocols were automatically initiated in accordance with second mission, concealment, concerns. Queries concerning informational security regarding this incident should be forwarded to Jules Whitaker, Brick supervisor. Assessment Team 743 Snowblind was deployed at the behest of Assistant Director Ursus Major. AT-743 was chosen due to proximity, and arrived on the scene at roughly 4.20. The team observed Foundation forces aboard the SCPS quarantine interacting with the anomaly. AT-743 was successful in intercepting Foundation communication channels which revealed the fact that Foundation operatives were focusing on information suppression with regards to the entity, as wholesale containment was considered unfeasible. AT-743 relayed this information to High Command, and an emergency convergence was called. Assistant Director Papa Romeo was instructed to reach out to the Foundation in order to form a joint task force due to his position classified level Q by order of GIG High Command with the express purpose of neutralizing the entity. With acquiescence from Foundation Command, the task force was formed. 2861 O consisted of, two members of Strike Team 9999 Max Damage, UX 656. Robotop, and UEC 300, Sparty Guts, Assessment Team 743 Snowblind 20 Blue Assets from the Center for the Study of Unified Thaumatology Michael Hauer, Fellowship of the Faith of the User, Lore Consultant, Goku Legacy a single member of Foundation Mobile Task Force Ada 5, Jaeger Bombers, Foundation MTF Mu 90, 
waterlogged, Foundation SCPS Quarantine Ptolemy Records Ad, Armaments Used in Destruction, Report from the Files of Horace Wallace, Quartermaster Sergeant Sector 10 Quartermaster's Division of 2712 Item Designation Title D1 Plus 2 Gen HE Bigot Anti Grav Battleship Legacy 1 Notes This mission marked the third and final deployment of the Skoka. The derelict ship remains in the threat entity's dimension. 2 Plus 1 Gen HRG 120 Megajoules Hypersonic Rail Gun 8 Notes 8 Total Hypersonic Rail Guns aboard the Legacy, with 64 rounds fired. 8 full broadsides, and no visible damage sustained. 3 plus 1 Gen GBU Guided Bomb Unit 77C Massive Ordnance Penetrator 15 Notes, not only were these unable to penetrate the height of the threat entity, the bombs were somehow rendered inert from the collision, and failed to detonate. 4 plus 2 Gen CTD 100 Megaton Compressed Thermonuclear Device, Cosma's Mother Until Midnight, 2 Notes, remained unused. The CTD were to be delivered to a point within the threat itself by UAC operators and detonated. 5 Gen 0 slash Gen Alta BJ 16 slash 50 caliber abjuration, expulsion rounds, engraved with the Duaz runic symbol. 1 Notes, the Duaz rune was selected due to the significance of the Norse deity associated with it, Tyr, and that figures prominence in lore regarding the threat entity. Department of Public Relations and Information Concealment Sender Jules Whitaker, DPRIC Supervisor, Recipient April, Operations Lead, Subject 3, 2712 Post-Incident Intel suggests that the joint effort between the GUC and the Foundation was unable to completely intercept civilian footage documenting LTE 2712. The Foundation was able to launch a campaign discrediting what was already in circulation after the fact though this is considered to be insufficient for the fulfillment of second mission, concealment, goals. Tbrick is hereby requesting permission to implement Procedure 9102 Deja Obli. Data projection indicates that LTE 2712 will fade from public consciousness with 98% of the affected population losing the ability to recall witnessing the event. This is to be considered an acceptable amount as combined with the applied information suppression techniques and the Foundation's targeted anti-teams, civilians who witnessed LTE 2712 firsthand should be summarily dismissed. Physics records FINRA 3.jpg photo taken by 14,736,209-743 matches aboard the SCPS quarantine at, Street Patrol Report, Debrief, Involved Assessment, Strike Team. AT743 Filing Operative, Hair 20,947,361-743 Mission, Location Slash Objective, Foreign T Encroaching on Our World, Situated in the Arctic Circle. Our team was deployed aboard the SCPS Quarantine, with orders to observe and report only. Encounter Report, Enemy Description, We had to sail a good distance away just to get a good look at this thing. Definitely some kind of wolf, looks to be the size of a small country. Veritas picked up some heavy arrow coming off something coating the beast's chain at the severed bit. 4,100 kilo Caspers, sapphire, flat, locked. Results, the Foundation researchers were able to get some measurements of the entity. Didn't seem to pick up on the arid, though. Other than that? We were in and out in one piece, can't complain. Personnel condition, optimal. Did not engage threat. Don't think it even knew we were there. Come to think of it, poor bastard looked stuck. Conclusions slash recommendations, hereby requesting High Command investigates this matter further, Captain Burgess is going to file an unknown threat entity report. From what we've seen so far, this thing sure as hell didn't break free on its own.